Hello travelers, welcome to the official YouTube channel of Kerala Tourism. About a month ago, Kerala Tourism conducted this very unique initiative called Kerala Virtual Tour. The main aim of this initiative was to bring to you some of the most beautiful touristic destinations in Kerala. Especially during this pandemic time, we understand that our global community of travelers must be missing our forests, our beaches, our hill stations. So we decided to conduct a poll on all these categories. To start with, it was the beaches. We uh, conducted a poll with the most beautiful beaches in Kerala and we promised to take you to the most voted one. So here I am on my way to the Kovalam beach and I am bringing Kovalam to you. I have just passed the Vela junction and Kovalam is about uh, less than 5 minutes from here. For the next 2 hours I am going to be taking you in and around Kovalam so keep watching this. So this is the Kovalam Junction and you're supposed to take a ride from here to go to the beaches. There are a lot of exciting things waiting for us there so keep following me for the next two hours. Okay guys, so I've just reached the Kovalam beach and the beauty of Kovalam beach is not just limited to the uh, palm trees and the beautiful seas but there's a lot more to explore. I'm so excited and let's get started. Having some of the best beaches in Kerala, Kovalam is the most sought after touristic spot and you might really know because you have voted Kovalam as one of the um, best touristic spots or best beach destination and that's the reason why we are here. So I am at the Kovalam beach right now. Kovalam like I said is a mix of three crescent beaches that's the Hawa beach, Kovalam beach and the lighthouse beach. Kovalam beach is also called as the Samudra beach uh, or the groves beach and here more than the tourists you can find the fishermen doing their daily routine, getting the fish and then selling it. That's, that's what the Kovalam beach is usually famous for. And also more than the beauty, the scenic beauty and the blue skies and the water bodies, Kovalam is also famous for water activities or water sports like uh, parasailing, diving, scuba diving and you can even hire a speedboat at a reasonable cost and go into the sea. There's Katamaran where you can uh, be with the fishermen, experience how they do fishing and go deep into the waters. So it's, 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 it's a mix of a whole lot of things here at Kovalam and I'm going to show you all this today. I'm going to show you, I'm going to take you, I'm going to experience uh, the real life and soul of Kovalam. So are you and you have to follow me. One of the most popular beaches in Kerala is in the capital city of Kerala, that is Thiruvananthapuram. It's about 16 to 17 kilometers from the city center, but the airport is more closer to the Kovalam beach and reaching here from the city center or from the airport is no hassle as there's not much of a traffic at this place. And you can uh, find accommodation of all varieties here starting from uh, the 5 star resorts to uh, budget hotels. Also Kovalam is famous for its cuisines. You have multi cuisine restaurants, Indian delicacies, continental uh, restaurants and also uh, Kovalam is pretty famous for its wellness treatments, Ayurvedic massages, uh, uh, the reju rejuvenations, Panchagarma treatments 
and we can find most of the tourists here mainly coming down for uh, the wellness treatments and you can also see although it's mostly populated with uh, fishermen here you can also see that the sea is quite calm and people uh, usually prefer bathing here as well as i said earlier the adventure water sport activities are also done here parasailing and diving is at that point so i'm going to take you through all these experiences today and you should stay tuned and you should stay along with me to experience kovalam the heart and soul of kovalam along with me the lighthouse beach right now and one of the major attractions of the lighthouse beach is the lighthouse itself although this is at kovalam it is mostly known as and officially known as the virunyam uh, lighthouse because the virunyam port is nearby so when you are done watching the waves at uh, the lighthouse beach you can climb up the stairs and uh, have a view city view from the top of the lighthouse Also when you go inside you can have you can have a good view of the uh, children's park and in the evening there's a musical fountain but right now it's not open for the public because of the pandemic situations and uh, we are hearing that they're going to open very soon one of the uh, exciting things that you can see at the kovalam beaches here as you can see the fishermen are collecting the shells the next step is that they're going to sell it and this is a daily routine this happens every day in all the kovalam beaches so these are two of the biggest uh, shells of the lot Now as I told earlier this is a daily routine for the fishermen uh, in the period of October to February that's when they ha- uh, that's when they harvest uh, these uh, shells they are called as uh, um, kalamakai in northern part of kerala whereas here in the southern part they call it as chippi they can be eaten raw as well as cooked and they are delicious uh, so here they are collecting again and uh, after they are done they're going to sell it to, uh, to the uh, vendors look at how beautiful they are lighthouse beach right now and i can see the lighthouse right in front of me one of the main adventurous attraction here is the katamaram i know that you all know what a katamaram is it's a wooden boat and i'm going to go in a bigger one which is made up of four logs of wood it's completely safe and secured with a life jacket they're going to take me right into the sea and i'm going to travel there about 1 hour and then come back i even get to do snorkeling and this is the first time that i'm going to experience this and i'm really excited and a bit tense too and i want you to take you i want you i want to take you to this experience so please come with me so the katamaram is ready and i am all set to so i think let's embark on this journey my first time and i'm excited as well as a little scared so i'm going to step my foot into this one now okay so we have started moving bit scary at the start but i'm hoping it would be a good ride fingers crossed You can see the waves behind me. I'm sure this is going to be a bumpy ride. Oh, it's a big one. Whoa, whoa! We are starting. Okay, but actually, uh, it's pretty safe, you know. Especially you have the. Uh, life jacket and also this is real wooden uh, boat so it's never going to turn upside down 
and uh, our our man of the boat that is Ibrahim Chetan. He is a fisherman and he is also a, a lifeguard. So my life is safe in his hand, and I'm very sure about that. And whoever is coming to uh, the lighthouse beach and uh, going on board the Katamaram, they are on safe hands. almost two minutes away from the shore and uh, now we've reached the calm state of the sea and uh, this is exciting because I'm not feeling hot at all. I, I was really feeling the sun when I was on the shore but right now it's pretty cool and I get this, uh, I get the breeze, I get the cold breeze. rock there we are going to go around it and then come back to the shore and I think I'm going to get a snorkeling glass too where I can see underwater and probably if I want to go uh, over the rock also I think that's possible Katamarams around here and now the boat is going a bit more faster because I want it to go faster because I can't wait to reach the rock Wow and you can be safe here because this is a very strong uh, Katamaram it's never going to turn upside down if at all it does because of uh, heavy waves uh, then you know you can just go on top of uh, the wood and be safe there and you have a life jacket so there's nothing to worry about the sea is so calm and I really can't express my you know the experience and you really have to be here honestly to experience this because the sea is very calm you get the light breeze and uh, you have you see all blue around and I, I honestly can't express this I thought I'll help our Ibrahim Chetan and try it moving the Katamaram. Okay. shore now I think we are about 10 minutes from the shore and we are about to reach the rock uh, like I told you earlier the Katamaram is really strong so you can just lie down or kind of uh, sit in any position that is convenient for you and the Katamaram will take care of you Katamaram, we also have speed boats and surfing opportunities here and right now I am going to reach the rocks 
and I'm going to do snorkeling as well. Okay, now I've learned one more skill. Thanks to my trip to Kovalam. Okay, I'm in the front, so probably I'm riding this now. Okay, now I want to see her to the right, go to the right. Beauty here. Wow. Right in the middle of the sea, a huge chunk of rock. I I really can't believe that I am so so much into the sea. And you can you can know now, see? It's so deep. More than the length of this. You can see fishermen over there collecting the uh, shells. Like I told you earlier, this is their daily routine. Some of them go in Katamaram and bring the shells back to the shore. Some of them actually dive into the sea in the middle of it and collect the shells. Most of the fishermen here live with this, you know. If you can even experience it if you are on a Katamaram. They will give you the snorkeling glasses and you can go deep inside the water. I prefer not to because I am going to go elsewhere that I am very eager to show you. You really don't have to go under the water to see it. You could even be in the Katamaram and Oh my god, I really can see the sea and the sea. Wow. There's the rock that I can see. Oh, this is one time experience. <laughs> There's a big fish down there. Hello. So I really can't explain this because it's just beautiful view from here. And imagine when you go underwater. From here itself we can see the rock bed and the fishes and the seaweeds. And I drank a little bit of salt water too, but that's fine. This is totally worth it. There goes our Ibrahim Chetan. He has left me all alone on the Katamaram. And he is having a good swimming on the sea. It's exercise, Anu Chetan. <laughs> ചേട്ടൻ 
ആ ഒരു ഐഡിയ ആണ് പേടി മാറിക്കിട്ടും അവർക്ക് നീന്താൻ അറിയാത്തവർ ചെയ്ത് പേടിക്കും എനിക്ക് പേടി ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു പേടി കാണൂല പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് കട്ടമറ എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോ സേഫ് ആണ് അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് കട്ടമറിച്ച് കൊണ്ടുപോകും Yeah so he says Katavaram is the safest of all the boats because it's really strong and made up of wooden uh, logs and uh, when you reach the middle of the sea or near the rock uh, what he's going to do is if you really want to swim you can go ahead and swim in the sea or he, if you're really scared then he might even teach you swimming and there's life jackets so there's nothing that you have to worry about and he's a trained um, swimming teacher too right <laughs> I believe out of all the boats the most exciting is Katamaram because you really get to enjoy this is a slow ride so you get to enjoy the sea you get to see the sea you get to feel the warmth whereas uh, there goes a uh, speed boat it just goes away very fast you just have to go back to the shore once you uh, you know finish seeing the sea but this is where you can really enjoy and take a slow ride and enjoy the sea I'm going to have my Titanic moment right now. I'm going to practice my balancing act as well. Tarvane tamburane tanarindu tanarindu പട്ടണിയേ <laughs> ഓൺ <laughs> but right now i'm like i'm i'm like a different person trust me i'm not exaggerating because i was scared of the water bodies and now i think i'm totally fine and in katamaram you're going to enjoy more than the speed boats or the other type of boats that you go into the sea and here i am back no So there we are. I've completed my katumaram. Ya bondla jeta. Oh my god. Thank you. So there I complete my katumaram ride and this is one of the best experiences I had in Kovalam. So make sure if you are at Kovalam don't miss the katumaram ride. All right, let me hop on. Katamaram ride right now and I'm going to take a walk on the beach because it's a very pleasant uh, weather. Uh, I can see, you know, surfers here because this sea is particularly very famous for surfing and uh, also Katamaram is another uh, speciality here adventure that you can see and I see some tourists here and I really want to know their experience uh, being at the lighthouse beach. Hello. Hi. Hi, my name is Ashwati. Okay, and we are from Kerala Tourism. Uh, may I know your name? My name is Oksana. I'm from Ukraine. Ukraine. Okay. And yours? Eva from Russia. Eva from Russia. Okay. Is it your first time here in Kerala? No, 10 times. 10 times. Oh my god. Okay. And how do you find Kerala? How do you find Kovalam especially? It's a beautiful place. Beautiful. Yeah. Of course. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, and you are you going to take a bath in the sea or just just came here for the hot uh, sun or 
Everything. Two times. Okay, so since lockdown, this is your first time here, right? Up during the pandemic. Okay, okay, perfect. So you're enjoying? Yes. All good? Yes. You're coming back again here, right? Yes. Okay, so nice to meet you here. So now you really know why Kovalam is a traveler's choice destination because this is their 10th time here at Kovalam and they're totally enjoying it. So you definitely know now that you shouldn't miss this place. So whenever you're planning for a trip to Kovalam, make sure you come to the Lighthouse Beach, you come to the Kovalam beaches. Alright, let me take a walk on the beach right now. This is not a usual view in any other beaches in India, but at Kovalam, this sea is perfect for surfers. You might not take my word, but you can see it for yourself. Wonderful sight, absolutely wonderful. Kovalam is not just about the beautiful sea or the greenery or the palm trees. Kovalam also offers a lot of uh, opportunities for adventurous rides like the Katamaram that I just hopped into, uh, the surfing, parasailing and uh, underwater diving, snorkeling and everything. So I'm all geared up to experience the breathtaking view of Arabian Sea from the top. Uh, Fly Kovalam has recently launched this parasailing activity and it is the newest addition to the water activities here at Kovalam. And a boat is going to take me 10 minutes into the uh, sea and from there I'm going to fly and see the waters. So I'm all geared up with the safety jacket, it's completely safe, completely secure. The attachment of the parachute, uh, uh, the attachment will only be done when I hop into the fiddle boat. And this boat that's waiting for me is going to take me to the fiddle boat. So I'm so excited and you come along to experience what I'm going to experience. Okay, so we are ready. Hop in with me and come along with me. Okay, so I've, uh, they've attached the belt for me and I'm just waiting for the captain to show me a ready signal. Okay, so I'm going. <laughs>
because I love fly coal and this was one of the best experience I had and definitely it's worth it, you know. You're not going to feel tense. Actually, there's no need of being nervous because uh, this is a beautiful experience. What everybody should have, uh, you know, experience this once in their lifetime. Do you agree with yeah. me? This is beautiful. I love you, Fly Golem, and thank you so much. Thank you so much, Etta. You're welcome. <laughs> Seriously, guys, I can't explain my happiness right now. I'm so so, so, so thankful to Fly Kovalam that they've launched uh, here at Kovalam because the view that you get from up the sky is, is spellbound and I really cannot experience it. If you're at Kovalam, never miss this water spot, never miss the pa parasailing because it's totally worth it. List. Right now, I am at the scuba diving center. This is where they train, uh, you know, give you the basic training before going for scuba diving. This is where also the basic procedures and uh, you know, all the instructions, they teach you how to do the instructions and all those prerequisites are completed. So I'm going to go in, take my training and then go to the sea to dive right into it. my diving suit and I'm going to get ready and come back in it and then I'll take you through the details. So I'm ready in my diving suit and there's an instructor waiting for me right here for the briefing. He's going to teach me the hand gestures and the hand signals and also tell, you know, teach me more about uh, understanding the scuba diving. So let's go to him right now. All right, okay, so I'm all geared up in my scuba diving costume and from the scuba diving center, we are off to the Kovalam beach and they recommend wearing a mask because of the pandemic times. And I will talk to you more details about scuba diving and the instructions they're giving and about the briefing that they just gave me over there. So I'm back at the Kovalam beach where I'm going to be diving into the sea. As I told you earlier, I'm geared up in my diving costume and they're going to give a little uh, instructions here, set of instructions here to follow when you're underwater as you can't speak, the hand gestures and all that. So let me go on to that area where they are giving me the briefing. Okay, so we are going to start with the briefing right now and this is Jibin who is going to help me with the briefing. Okay, alright, we'll get started with it.
So uh, guys, this was just a quick uh, summary of what uh, Jibin just said. This is the uh, diving gear and uh, this is the primary regulator and the secondary regulator. This is what goes into your mouth and you uh, breathe in and breathe out through this one. There are three basic skills that's required. One is the regulator clearance. Yes. Regulator clearance, mask clearance and equalizer. Regulator clearance in case um, you know you want to just release the water out of this. You just press it into your mouth. If water enters into your mouth and you just want to release it, you press this button. For mask clearance, if water enters your mask, you are going to uh, breathe heavily through your nose, but holding the top portion of the mask. And equalizer is when you go under water and the pr pressure varies. You just have to hold your nose and then breathe out heavily. Pinch your nose and breathe out heavily, and then leave. Uh, the nose. So these are the three skills basically needed, and there are hand signals as well, right? Okay. So we'll move on to the hand signals then. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. I'll write out it. Okay. So just a summary of the hand signals. This is going up. If you want to go up, this is go up. If everything is going okay, you are going to do this. If everything is not going okay, you do this. You know, not okay. And suppose if you find everything uh, wonderful and amazing, this is your wonderful signal. And then the other ones, you know, if you have a problem with your ear or the mask or your stomach, then just point to the area and tell them it's not going good. And I think that's it, right? Okay. So we are done with the briefing. Okay. All right. So my first time, and I'm excited. And I, I don't know what's waiting for me. I'm more excited to see what's underwater. Uh, so I hope I remember all these instructions and follow it, and I don't create a trouble for them. That's that's my only hope. All right, see you there.
is me back again on the shore. to them. Thank you so much. So today is my second day here at Kovalam and I'm about 7 kilometers away from the Kovalam Junction at a place called Arimala with beautiful rock sandy beach and a very ancient Shiva temple called the Arimala Shiva Kshetra. This temple used to be known as the Arimala Pulingudi Shri Mahadeva Kshetra. Now compared to the Kovalam beaches, the Arimala beach is more quiet and calm or I must say used to be more quiet and calm. Uh, until the unveiling of one of the tallest Shiva sculptures in the entire state. I am going to take you inside the temple and show you this beautiful creation. So this is what I was talking about, the 58 feet tall Shiva sculpture made in concrete. 
It is uh, erected at an altitude of 20 feet from the sea level and it's on a rock. As you can see here, Lord Shiva is in the Gangadharishwara figure with his hair flying in the air and holding Goddess Ganga Devi on his head. You can also see the intricate detailing on the figure, be it on the arms or the legs or the chest. And it took about six years for the sculptor, who is a native of Arimala itself, to create or to make the entire structure. Dhyana Mandaba or a chamber close to the figure which is under construction but once completed it will be used for meditation. Ever since this figure has been unveiled, people have been flocking in from different parts of the state and the country to witness this magnificent creation. Now I have the secretary of the Arimala Shiva temple with me now, Mr. Vijesh. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. <laughs> sir. ഉണ്ടിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടാവും പിൽക്കാലത്ത് പഴയ തലമുറ ഭജന മഠമായി ഉപയോഗിച്ച് പോകുന്നു ആ ഭജന മഠം പുതുക്കി പണിതാണ് ധ്യാന മണ്ഡപവും അതിൻ്റെ മുകളിലായി ഇപ്പോൾ സാക്ഷാത്കരിക്കപ്പെട്ട ഈ ഗംഗാതിരേശ്വര രൂപം Oh, that's right. Okay, so uh, this temple used to be the place of worship, according to Hindu mythology, the place of worship for the Pandavas. And uh, at that point of time, uh, there was a shortage of uh, pure water for drinking. And Bhima Sena actually uh, made a hole on one of the rocks here with his knee. And the water uh, that came out from the rocks were used for the pujas. So, what was the figure of this figure? ധാരാളം പേരെത്തുകയും ഈ പാണ്ഡവർ മെഡിറ്റേഷൻ ചെയ്തിരുന്ന ആ ഒരു സ്ഥാനത്ത് 
ഒരുപാട് പേർ വ്യത്യസ്ത പ്രദേശങ്ങളിൽ നിന്നുള്ള ആൾക്കാർ ഇവിടെ എത്തിച്ചേർന്നു ധ്യാനം ചെയ്യണമെന്ന ആഗ്രഹം ക്ഷേത്ര ഭരണ സമിതിക്കും മേൽശാന്തിക്കും ഉണ്ടായി അതിൻ്റെ അടിസ്ഥാനത്തിൽ മേൽശാന്തി തന്നെ ഒരു മാർഗനിർദ്ദേശം ഭരണസമിതിക്ക് സമർപ്പിക്കുകയും ഭരണസമിതി അത് അംഗീകരിക്കുകയും ചെയ്താണ് രണ്ടായിരത്തി പതിനാല് ഏപ്രിൽ രണ്ടാം തീയതി ഇതിൻ്റെ പണി ആരംഭിക്കുകയാണ് For a very long time, people used to come here and meditate at this point and as per the instructions of the priest at the Arimala Shiva temple, the foundation for the sculpture was laid on April 2nd, 2014. It was Sri Narayana Guru who gave the name of Arimala temple and at that point of time when he had come to this place, it was a smaller temple and he informed the natives here at Arimala to create a bigger temple and start worshipping the deity Lord Shiva here. അപ്പോൾ താങ്ക് യു സോ മച്ച് സാർ ഇതെല്ലാം ഞങ്ങളെടുത്ത് ഷെയർ ചെയ്തതാണ് great pleasure i introduce the creator or the sculptor of the great shiva uh, figure that you see behind me devadattan hello devadattan idu idu enginaana create cheyan undayade uh, oru situation endayirunnu situation ivada ambala thinna parnu avaru idu njan jenja stalam undu ivada aayilla appodekum ഹ <laughs> 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 this um, shiva uh, statue came up here so engenaanu ee oru endha sculpting lotu vannad engenaanu cherudile alla alla your interest athu plus two kaiyittana njan adilote etti okay adu oru drawing on cheeyile okay pinne develop cheyidam pettanu oru ishtam thoni angane cheyi thodangiya cheyidappo pettanu result kittunnundu പെട്ടെന്ന് പെട്ടെന്ന് ചെയ്ത് തുടങ്ങി ഞാൻ വയസ്സ് ചോദിക്കാമോ എന്ന് എനിക്കറിയില്ല ബട്ട് യു ആർ വെരി യങ് ഐ റെഡ് അല്ലേ ഓക്കെ ഹി വാസ് ജസ്റ്റ് ട്വൻറ്റി ത്രീ ഇയേഴ്സ് വെൻ ഹി സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് ക്രിയേറ്റിംഗ് ദിസ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ടുക്ക് സിക്സ് ഇയേഴ്സ് അല്ലേ ആറ് ആറ് വർഷം എടുത്തു ടു കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ദ ഹോൾ തിങ് ഹാറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ടു യു ഒരുപാട് പേര് ഈ ഒരു സ്ഥലത്തോട്ട് വന്ന് ഇത് കാണാനായിട്ട് വരുന്നുണ്ട് ഇപ്പോൾ ഈ ഒരു ആഴിമലയുടെ ഭംഗി കുറച്ചുകൂടെ കൂടിയിട്ടുണ്ടെന്ന് വേണം പറയാൻ ജസ്റ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് യു Uh, you might be feeling very proud alle idu kaanumba that ende oru creation ivide itri aalkar kaanan varunnu nu ku parayumba alle aalkaru enikku idu undarunnu nammala madaparamaya oru structure alle ee oru structure vekkunathu namu kaaranam namku finance finance inde studies okke nalakkunnundallo appo angane thonna okay appo aa konnathu chinnichalum പക്ഷെ പല ആൾക്കാരും പല മതത്തിലുള്ള പല സ്ഥലത്തുനിന്നും പല കാര്യങ്ങളിലുള്ള ആൾക്കാരെല്ലാം വരുന്നുണ്ട് അതെ അതെ കറക്റ്റ് അവർക്ക് വേറെ തരത്തിലുള്ള വിഷൻ ഫീൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ കിട്ടുന്നുണ്ട് അതെ അതെ അത് കാണുമ്പോൾ ഒരു ആ ഒരു റിയാലിറ്റി ആണ് അതെ അതെ കണ്ട് ഫീൽ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ പ്രത്യേകതയുണ്ട് കറക്റ്റ് കറക്റ്റ് इट्स नॉट जस्ट ഹിന്ദുസ് പീപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ഓൾ റിലിജൻ ഓൾ കാസ്റ്റ് ഓൾ ക്രീഡ് एवरीबॉडी കംസ് ഹിയർ ടു സീ ദിസ് സ്റ്റാച്യൂ ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ്സ് വാട്ട് മേക്സ് ദി ക്രിയേറ്റർ മോർ ഹാപ്പി ഓർ മോർ വാട്ട് ഇൻ കണ്ടെന്റ് വിത്ത് ദി ക്രിയേഷൻ because it's not just the hindu uh, people following the hindu religion it's people from all uh, regions and religions coming here to see his creation idinde endengil challenge undarunno idu undakkuna samayathe oru vaadu undayirikkum nariya challenges sadhimana onnum illa onnum illarunno idu korchi easy aayittu kandanga cheyidu enjoy cheyida mathram okay okay angane undar karena aa oru prayam angane irunnallo prathega structure illa avasta pettilla adinu munne namukku nammude oru ഇതെല്ലാം <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
quick walk around the Arimala beach and I must say this is one of the most calmest and quietest beaches in the Trivandrum city. Uh, with its serene beauty and the rocks and the sands, you can even witness the sunrise and the sunset while you are at Arimala beach. So if you are at Kovalam, this is definitely a must visit place. Pretty much covered all major spots here at Arimala and uh, this is a place that I said that you must really visit and never miss if you are at uh, Trivandrum or at Kovalam. And next I am moving to my new location which is going to be a different experience because I am going to find out how the Kovalam village life is all about. So I am going to experience the village life and you stay tuned with me to understand more about Kovalam village stories. Kerala virtual tour and the poll conducted as part of the campaign, you have chosen Kovalam as one of your favourite touristic destination and beach destination. But more than the beautiful waves and the alluring shores, Kovalam offers one of the best village life experience, making it a perfect spot for implementing responsible tourism. As part of the responsible tourism mission, you can experience the real life activities that the natives here at Kovalam do for their livelihood, like coir making, hand loom, and uh, you know fishing so right now i am at panatura and i'm going to give you the experience of making a coir
So the first step in coir making is that you uh, you dip the coconut husk into water for about close to one year or more than a year to make it more soft so that the fibers can be removed from the coconut husk. You can see these small islands, they are actually these coconut husks that are uh, dipped in water. Uh, when we asked the locals here, I think this is close to two years that they have uh, dipped these coconut husks uh, in net in the water. And after one or two years, they're going to remove it and then remove the uh, coconut husk, the fibers from the husk and then beat it and uh, prepare the coir out of it. So it's not a simple process, it's a very long process and this is what they do for their livelihood. You can see, uh, you know, the husks, those are the uh, coconut husks that were dipped in water. They are actually being taken out for beating. Um, the people here, the natives here, they go in boats like these and collect the uh, um, husks that were dipped in water. And the next process is beating the fibre out of the husks. So let's take you and I'll take you to that real life experience of making coir. Okay, so I've almost reached here. Uh, this is not just a place where coconut uh, coir is made, but uh, people usually travel using these boats uh, to both the shores, both the uh, islands. Okay, so I'm, I'm ready. I'm going to hop out. So I'm at the beautiful village of Panathura Kadava and uh, here you can see there's a lot of coconut trees. On my left it's the Karamana River and on my right it's the Arabian Sea. There's a temple behind me and there's a mosque in front of me. So this village is all about uh, traditions and mix of traditions and amalgamation of uh, all religions, caste and culture and this is where they make the coir. So right now before I move to or I go to the uh, house where the coir is made, I want to see the Arabian Sea. So I'm going to climb up these rocks and I'm going to show you how the Arabian Sea looks from here. This is going to be a difficult task, but that's okay. I'm sure it's going to be worth it. Look at this view people, look at this view. That's Kovalam I see over there and we are about 3 kilometers away from Kovalam. So the shore that I see over there is the Kovalam beach.
Look at the color of the waters. This is how this is what you find when you visit the place very early in the morning. It's like a greenish blue color tone for the waters. I can't see what's what's there on uh, my right because it's kind of foggy. But on my left, I can clearly see the Kovalam Beach. So that was my morning pill for a refreshing and I have to go and see the coir making process so right now I'm gonna go. Follow me. Okay, so I think I've almost reached here, walking through these small passages and you can see how beautiful the place is, really experiencing the village life. And yes, I'm here. Hello. Namaskaram. Namaskaram. <laughs> So this is the uh, coconut shell, the coconut has been taken out. This is the coconut shell that they dip into the water for about uh, more than a year. And then this is taken out from the water and uh, beaten. The main reason why it's dipped into the water is to soften the fibers and it's taken out of the water beaten with an iron rod and uh, the fiber taken out. This fiber goes into a machine and comes out of this form. Uh, this is drizzle fiber and drizzle fiber is then uh, made into a coir that you see. This is the final product. So, any king would have done the I have asked them if they can teach me and they've agreed to it. So, I'm going to make uh, my own coir now. add pieces of the brizzle fibers to make the coir but this is not as easy as you see uh, I really can't uh, do it alone and they've been helping me thank you so much uh, Cheta Chetty they are really experienced professionals who have been doing this for years and I don't think I can learn the skill in uh, like a minute or something but really respect all these uh, people who are making the coir here and you should definitely experience probably you are more skilled than I am so you can come in here and ask their help and you can try learning the skill of coir making so thank you so much thank you I'm going to be here thank you
so i've just completed my journey here at panathura experiencing the life of the people here making coir understanding what they do for livelihood understanding the culture here viewing the scenic beauty and i'm on my way back to um, understanding and experiencing another location so keep following me So as part of the responsible tourism mission I'm right now at uh, Vellar Vattapara to experience the village life here. Uh this place the government is trying to preserve the old craft of thatching. As you know in the ancient uh, Kerala houses uh, most of the Kerala houses had thatched roofs and uh, right now it's it's changing but uh, there are some people who prefer the fusion of the modern and uh, traditional cultures. So the thatched roof is still coming into place. Uh so this is the place where the thatching is done. So let's go and meet uh, the palm leaf weavers and experience the uh, form of uh, thatching Hello Jeji Sugana Sugana Okay ipo namukku endayile idu engena cheyyunnu nu kaanichu kodukana njangal idu kaananayitta vandirikkana chechi da peru Okay Jeji Maheshwari. Okay, so this is Maheshwari Chechi, and she is going to show us how thatching with the coconut uh, palm leaf is done. Apo, engine on the can't see, Chechi. Also, she's been doing it since her childhood, and uh, they sell this when it's completed. and as you can see she's holding the coconut uh, the palm leaf with uh, uh, her legs and then kind of taking all the leaves and you know criss cross and i think it's the same way as you tie the pleats on your hair i'm going to try it now and try it okay chichi okay so you leave one leaf in between and then you take the alternate leaves and idu rendu eduthittu ah idu edukanam okay ah okay idu endala enikku pattum thonnilla chichi again this is you know they are experts at it and it's really difficult chechi thana cheyidullu samadhichirikkunu it is really difficult uh, because you need to practice it at least few times to get this right uh, you know which leaf to tie and which one to leave and all that adivali okay this is the real craft you know uh, people talented people with skills actually do this so more than sightseeing if you enjoy experiencing the village life and experiencing forms like this trying to understand how what are the methods of living for the people and what they do to uh, earn a livelihood you should be here as part of the responsible tourism mission you should experience the village life at kovalam So when this is completed it's going to look like this and this is going to go as your roof All right So people if you want to enjoy the village life at Kovalam come to Vellar come to Vattapara and I'm sure Chechi will be there to help she's she's helped a lot of tourists here to make uh, the thatched leaves this way 
അപ്പൊ താങ്ക് യു ചേച്ചി ഞങ്ങൾ വീണ്ടും വരും കുറച്ച് ടൂറിസ്റ്റ് ഒക്കെ ആയിട്ട് ഞങ്ങൾ ഇവിടെ വരും താങ്ക് യു സോ മച്ച് I'm so excited to introduce this place to you. This is the Kerala Arts and Crafts Village at Vellar, 1 km away from Kovalam. This is a newly open space you can say as the one-stop shop for all the uh, cultural arts and crafts heritage of Kerala. You can find a lot of um, you know items here. You can buy things from here everything related to the kerala culture kerala arts and crafts culture so let's go inside and see what's waiting for us there i see a map from here probably the map can help us uh, in what direction to go and what all items are waiting for us inside so let's go in This place is humongous and well maintained with lots of greens and the architecture reminds of the old traditional uh, buildings in Kerala and as i told you this is pretty new place and uh, they have you know it's well kept okay this is the map that i was talking about Like I said the place is so huge and you can see 61 marking points in the map itself and I definitely don't think I can cover the whole space in one day you'll have to spend probably if you come to Kovalam you can spend one full day here uh you know going to these marked points you have uh, Kalari Academy you have recreational facilities studios and what not So while I see around this space don't forget that our next category of voting is for the hill stations you can vote for your best hill stations that you prefer to visit in Kerala and we'll take you there so the poll is on keralatourism.org website don't forget to vote again i'm reminding you uh, the voting lines are open and we'll take you next to the hill stations in Kerala that you vote for So right now I am at the first building to the right of the entrance and I can see uh, an emporium uh, art gallery craft cafe and store here let's go inside and see what's inside Wow Look at this Can you believe this? What an incredible painting. I think they're trying to show a market space here and uh, a building where people are like sitting and watching the market or something of that sort. But I really salute the artist who have who has you know painted the whole wall. And look at the architecture of the building itself really gives you that vibe of uh, being in a place where art is given so much of importance. Let's go inside the emporium now.
and pour in this is i'm going to find a staff who can explain better about the items displayed here this is for sale i know that this is for sale but i'm going to find a staff who can explain better on what they're showcasing here and um, where are the uh, items from and if the artists are inside the uh, premises of this building or i want to really want to know details about this Okay, this is a clock that is made of marble. You can see inside, it's made of marble, and it's from Jaipur. This is metal. This is made of these figures are made of metals, and this is from Chhattisgarh. How beautiful this is going to decorate your homes! Just imagine having this on the walls. Similarly, you have a frame with the figures, metal figures. work by some great talented artist across india not just kerala okay so these are wooden uh, elephants and uh, these are made this these are in house made little heavy though and then some wooden cases jewelry box yes the traditional jewelry box the instrument instruments in uh, sale na no sale na na le okay radhangam tabla all these items here are for sale and there's more towards the other side leather work okay leather work the pride of kerala elephants peacocks how intricate designs if you can uh, show the designs it's so intricate so detailed amazing artist oh look at these tiny pots <laughs> look at them it looks so good when it is placed here probably when you are building a new home you can find out you know where this can be placed it looks so beautiful maybe very tiny items but uh, this is definitely going to decorate your house either bamboo and akia le what not there are a lot of items here made of uh, metals made of wooden materials made of bamboo
detailing even the tongue you can see they've, they've not forgot to, to keep a tongue also oh i like this one our very own kathakali so the tourists coming in here can definitely take this as souvenirs as well because you don't get this anywhere else definitely a one stop shop and a genuine shopping experience for tourists in kerala These are twenty-four carats gold-plated bras artwear. Definitely something that uh, every Kerala-ite and every tourist would love to own. This area is totally dedicated to the jewelries. Okay. And some handmade bags and the very famous Kerala spices. So the emporium is, you know, offers a lot of things that you can shop from and I don't think uh, I'm going to finish this whole space. There there's more waiting for us, so I'm going to go ahead So there are paintings on the walls that take us upstairs as well and one main attraction here is probably you can see I really don't know how people put these uh, works on top there but what a view Check out the art gallery now. I'm going to take a quick walk around the art gallery right now. the work of every artist speaks a lot just look at how different this painting is from this one and how this one is different from this painting so every artist is very unique and the paintings as well very famous tayo
can you believe this is a painting it just looks real feels like he's sitting with the lantern right in front of me another theyam and the world famous mural paintings you should see this this is the trunk the ears and the horn of an elephant how how real it looks how genuine it looks the famous patmanabh swami kshetra at tiruvananthapuram and the planets a deeper meaning probably the beauty of kerala captured very well into a frame so this was the art gallery and i i i am speechless i mean every picture speaks a lot and i am finding it really difficult to talk about one picture because every picture is unique so right now i'm done with the art gallery and let's move out and see the next item in list Right now I am at the craft section of Kerala Arts and Crafts Village and uh, there are a lot of studios for uh, different craft items here probably in the art gallery you would have seen few items were made in house the studios here are the places where these items are made we have the puram crafts that showcases uh, the puram items straw picture crafts probably it would be difficult for me to show you around this place um, through our uh, program but uh, you can definitely come in here and experience this you can spend a whole day here and watch uh, how the beautiful artist of kerala makes these crafts They also have a special studio for the musical instruments. Teak wood crafts. I think I should go in. so these are the creations of a national award winner called kr mohan and look at the designs look at the work if you want to show something that's truly made in kerala you should purchase items like this and take it back to your country
Okay, this is the artist here. He is receiving the national award. So this was a snapshot of the craft section of the Kerala Arts and Crafts Village. And let's move on to the other side and see what's over there. Look at how beautifully this place is maintained. I'm loving the way it's well kept with lots of greens, lot of browns, architectural beauty. In the Emporium, we had shown uh, the coconut husk items and this is where they are made. The famous Aramola Kannadi, you can get it from here. Probably I should show you one. So this is the famous Aramola Kannadi. Pretty heavy though. Absolutely beautiful showpiece. Made in Kerala. Thank you, Chichi. Terracotta, ceramic crafts. Those are the small items, the tiny items that uh, I had shown you inside the emporium. Okay, the terracotta and ceramic items. So he has been doing it for a very long time and um, their products are only sold here at the Kerala Arts and Crafts Village. You can see the live making of mural terracotta relief. The artist is right now in action making the uh, Terracotta relief. So the speciality of the Kerala Arts and Crafts Village is that they are not selling their designs alone. If you want something to be customized, you can bring in here. The artist and the artisans will surely give it to you. They will model it, they will design it, they will make it and give it to you. I see God in every thread that I draw on the spinning wheel by Mahatma Gandhi. And I definitely cannot miss this place because Kerala is very well known for its handloom, for its handloom materials, whether it be uh, the saris or the kurtas. So definitely I should make a move. So this cloth is, the dye used in this cloth is made of hibiscus flowers. How cool is that? The cotton saris, the Kerala sari and the live weaving. So she is going to take one day to complete this whole thing.
Okay, you shouldn't miss the Kerala sari. The Kerala sari. Look at the beauty of it. So this is made in the loom that we just saw. And this is of a bigger kasava, broader kasava. This is also done here using the loom that we just saw. The Kerala sarees also come with designs like the paintings and uh, any designs of the sort. So even these sarees can be customized. You can give your preferred uh, designs and they'll print it for you. Okay, so let's make a move out. Cane crafts here where you can get chairs and sofa sets, baskets made of bamboo. Hammock and jewellery. You can buy these and place them in your gardens. Handmade. That way you're promoting the artists and the uh, weavers here in Kerala. My favourite potion, jewelleries. Hi! All handmade, all Everything handmade by the talented Ningala Okay, so they are the people who make these jewelries. You should take around here. So the speciality of the artists here is that uh, they will work on your designs as well. If you want anything to be done, preferred uh, on uh, something to go with the costumes that you have, then you can give the designs and they'll make it for you. This was a quick snapshot of the uh, variety of cultures, variety of arts and crafts here at Kerala Arts and Crafts Village. I will not be able to cover up the whole thing today but let's try and see and let's explore what's on the other side. An amazing amphitheatre here. Probably when it's uh, open for the tourists and when we have a lot of people coming in here. So this can be a podium for showcasing the arts and crafts uh, and the art forms of Kerala. What an amazing view, right?
there's an artificially made waterfall here and the perfect place for resting because I had a long walk. In the meantime, you should visit our website keralatourism.org. There's a poll open for the best hill stations in Kerala and you should vote for your favorite hill station and we'll take you to the most voted one. So I'm going to take some rest and you should go and vote. It's a sign off here at the Kerala Arts and Crafts Village. Like I said earlier, I haven't been able to cover everything. There's a butterfly park, there's a sunset ridge and children's play area. But definitely I will not be able to cover it today. But as I said earlier, you should come here and experience the arts and crafts heritage of Kerala. And uh, it's a one-stop shop for genuine shopping experience in Kerala. So that marks my day here and uh, I'll see you at the next location. So before the sunset, I'm planning to go for a shopping here at the small, small shops uh, near the Hawa beach. I'm not intentionally planning to buy anything, but just looking around the place here and looking uh, to see what's the shopping uh, fun here. I've heard about this shop. This is a lending library. The uh, you know the tourist here and the speciality about uh, Kolam is that the tourists here stay for a very long period of time for about uh, you know 10 to 12 months at a stretch. So those tourists come here, they take their rent books and then return it. This is one of the favorite uh, lending libraries that the tourists uh, actually recommend. And uh, I don't see anybody from here. If I could ask Cheta. If you're on a short visit, you can even buy the books from here. That's what I heard from uh, them. Seems to be an interesting place just near Hawa Beach. Along with wide uh, variety of cuisines, you also get to see a lot of um, artistic items here in terms of uh, you know uh, souvenirs and um, nice clothes. Chappals, Ayurvedic products. There are a lot of uh, shopping items that you can get from the uh, shops near the Hawa Beach. More than the locals, the tourists would really find this attractive. Tourists from the foreigners from uh, outside of India would find this place attractive, and they really recommend uh, shopping. And they really go back with bag full of items from the Kovalam Beach, uh, uh, the shops near the Kovalam Beach.
ठीक है बीफ देर आर आर्टिस्ट हियर हु हैंड मेड हु मेक्स दिस विद हैंड यू नो ब्यूटीफुल coconut okay so these are made of coconuts look how beautifully they have crafted a monkey handmade yeah these are handmade beautifully crafted monkeys using coconut shells <laughs> it looks so cute and you can see a lot of uh, souvenirs also the ones that you uh, the ones with magnet and as well as uh, the ones yeah the seashells and laughing buddhas Lucky Buddha's handmade uh, pouches. A lot of talented artists here uh, show their or showcase their talents through small small items of this uh, sort that they sell uh, in the shops here. Okay, you also get uh, organic items here. I see organic green teas, Assam tea. So definitely, uh, people who are coming in from outside of Kerala or outside of India would definitely be looking at um, these attractions. That's something related to uh, Kerala and something related to India. Kovalam has come to a halt right now. I am winding up and going to see the sunset, but it's quite foggy today, and the sun is not very clear. But anyways, totally, I enjoyed my trip here at Kovalam because I experienced the parasailing, scuba diving, and the katamaram for the first time, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Definitely, I'm coming back to Kovalam, and you know why I'm here because you voted Kovalam as one of the best beaches in Kerala. but our voting for the next category that is hill station is open in our website keralatourism.org you should visit our website and vote for your best hill station in kerala we will take you there in the coming days thank you so much and enjoy the sunset